We pump this up, and they are 100% uh, dead. Love to see so it. this is Zeke's rank one fatigue imp warlock, and overall I ended up going 10 and 9 with this deck, which was a little surprising. The idea behind the deck is really simple. You want to just play like old imp warlock. Flood the board early, pump them up with no fins impossible and via library, and your late game win conditions are imp king or farm and drathir. The buff to craze conductor gives you a huge buff in tempo, and also be careful because you do do a lot of damage to yourself. Let me think here. Librarian turn one is fantastic. I really like these other two cards, but I feel like I need a two drop. Fiendish circle is a really high mulligan win rate so I'm gonna keep that and we're gonna get rid of the imp gang boss because it's just uh not as good as some of the other cards <laughs> but yeah I want to know what you guys think about this uh, I usually have like way 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 more energy in the morning and then in the nighttime and the midday from like I want to say 1 p.m. to about 5 or 6 p.m. that's when I go into a bit of a lull really that's crazy you're able to remove that already. We can go tour guide, life tap, another tour guide. Boom. And then boom, so the next one's free. I kind of want to play this turn three, then this. Because they'll all die and then I can play this. But anyway, this is not great. The fact that they were able to coin out the plague strike turn one. But I don't know, maybe that's normal, but I feel like it should be morning and then it ramps up when I should have the most energy in the midday. Not start up here, go down, and then kind of bring it back up. It just feels weird. Uh, we're gonna go Fiendish Circle. And then we will trade into a 1-1 here. And then this will become Infused, we'll play this later. We're not gonna life tap now, there's really no need to. I uh, maybe life tap next turn. Mulligans for this deck, primarily the mulligans for this deck are, you want to look for early imps. Mostly, you want to try to find Fiendish Circle, Imp King or Fom, an early um, Fatigue Starter like the Baritone Imp. Uh, Flame Imp's pretty decent as well. Just like Fatigue cards and early imps for the most part. Okay, so, I don't really have a way of killing this off. Let's Life Tap, let's see if we can find anything. We get Flame Imp. It's not bad, but I feel like it's not great either. We can go boom, boom, boom next turn. But we want to go with a mischievous imp to put some stuff on the board here. Because I can't kill this off even if I wanted to. I think I kill off the 2-2. Um, the or maybe I just ignore it and try to go a big no fins impossible. No, we'll kill this off. I want to take as little damage as possible. They're going to play the 1-3 taunt minion and get 3-2-4 taunts. Because uh, this, allow this is allowed to be a... Um, this is allowed to be a 2-5 for 3 mana that has insane value. I really wish that it was smaller. People ask me like, oh, what would you nerf if you could nerf cards in this game? And 100% it would be like this every single time. Then we can go trade, trade, and then kill this off. We'll take 1 fatigue damage. Or alternatively, we play this because this would do more damage to me. And then we play no fins impossible. Because these fatigue damages do less. Yeah, let's actually do that. We actually stop ourselves from taking even more damage. But no fiend's impossible, it's too strong here to pass up. We'll just kill off several of these things. Coolio, look at this. We actually have a pretty good board all of a sudden. They didn't have the taunt minion, which means we are in the clear. But yeah, the mulligans for this deck are pretty nice. I wonder what they're going to do with, um... Oh, they're just gonna go full face. They're probably gonna set up for like a grave strength or something. Jeez Louise, okay, hold on. Now hold on just a second here. Hold on just a second. You have to be kidding. Imp King or Fom, that's not gonna be enough. Uh, we can go trade, 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 trade. I mean, we can kill off a couple of these minions here. Which I think is probably best. Oh man, this sucks, because we're gonna have to kill off all of these things, which is not possible. Uh, I mean, I guess we'll just, we'll just kill this off. I guess that's fine. And then we'll kill off the, uh, the Noggling because it's annoying. And then we'll go boom and I guess boom. And not take damage. If they play, um, Grave Strength plus this, that's only eight damage. I can theoretically win the game next turn with Imp King or Fom. Oh. Wait, I actually can just win the game next turn with M King Reform. We want to kill off the 1-3 here. Oh, Plague Strike? That's really annoying. I don't think I can win anymore. How much damage can I do? 
via library, dude, if I had this a little bit earlier, we win one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I think we can do that. Let's uh, kill off a couple of minions here. Because we have 11 damage plus eight. Yeah, it's not enough. We're going to go boom, boom. They both die. Uh, this goes here. This goes here. And then we're going to play Imp King or Fom. And we're going to hope that it's enough to win. We summon a couple of minions. They're decently sized minions, too. And we'll play Vile Library after. If we had eight mana, we could have won the game there, but it's okay. Yeah, that doesn't matter to me at all. They don't have Grave Strength or Direct Damage. We have... Quite a bit of damage on the board, actually. We can trade the 1 2 in and then play via library and actually gain damage here. Cool. We got him. That was that was crazy. If they had had the 1 3 taunts, I would have lost the game for sure. A warrior in this economy? I'm gonna, if I've said it once, I've said it a thousand times. What a silly, silly dude. Uh, we never keep crescendo. No fins impossible is good. But it's not good if I have nothing to support it with. Like, if I maybe had a fiendish circle, there'd be an argument to keep it, but. Excuse me, there's really no argument to keep it now. We're gonna hope to draw a um, Baritone Imp. So what do I want to play here? Do I want to play Flame Imp and potentially have it die right away? Or do I want to play a Void Walker and have less immediate pressure? I'm gonna play Flame Imp. I think the immediate pressure is really, really nice. I think it's definitely worth it. I thought you were going for the Kibler hair. Nobody can match the Kibler hair. Nobody. No, it's impossible. <laughs> the Kib- of course. There's no way. It's impossible. Kibler's hair is perfect in every way. I can only dream of having that one day. This turn three, this turn four. Coin? For three mana. Probably the four three. Oh, it's a tr you're gonna play the treasure card? Interesting. Flustered Librarian, we're gonna play this and just, I guess, triple trade. Like, we have to trade into it to go for their face at some point anyway. Crazy Conductor, I wanna try to get more value out of Are you kidding me? Come on, man. Impending Catastrophe. I'm gonna go boom. Draw three card, four cards for two mana. Super balanced, by the way. We can go another Impending Catastrophe, or we can just play two minions and play this next turn. Yeah, let's just play two minions. And then this goes here, sadly, and then this goes face. But we get to play you real soon. One, two... Th Actually, we only have two imps. So we'd only draw three cards for two mana. Barely even worth the value. Honestly, what's even the point of playing a two mana draw three? It's friggin' terrible. Could never imagine. Ugh. Ugh. That makes me wanna throw up. Stop talking about Druid. This chat complains about it so much. What about Paladin, Death Knights, and Rogues? I mean... I complain about them all the time too. I complain about all of them pretty equally. Actually, that's not true. I do complain about Druid more. We'll just do that, impending. This goes here, um, and then these go face. We get no fins impossible, so like we should be able to win the game in a turn or two. It should be fine. Unless I got a misread on what deck they're going and they brawl. That was my main issue. Like, if they run brawl by some chance, what are the odds they get absolutely demolished here? But I'm assuming they're not gonna run brawl. I'm assuming it's full menagerie, and they just didn't have the best early game hand, and I'll be fine. We have multiple ways we can win the game next turn with Via Library. No Fins Impossible is pretty good. I think they just it just needs a little bit of support. You're right. A totem? I mean, that's good. You kill off one minion here. It's pretty sick for you, I guess. We don't take damage for this. It's Via Library and No Fins Impossible. I kind of need to kill this off. And I also low-key want to kill this off. Do I leave the 6-2 up? I think I leave the 6-2 up. I don't think I care about 1-6-2. It's not like a mech or anything. I do want to kill off the stereo though. I think that's a bit annoying. Because the stereo could pump up like a Zilliax, which could go crazy. But this isn't a mech. It's not like they can get a good Zilliax on this. Anything to swap with Darken? Um... Anything to swap with Darken? I mean, you probably could switch something. Just put something that's more aggressive in early game. There's got to be a cheap imp or um, demon you could put in. I can't think of it off the top of my head, but if you want to just go for a little bit more aggro, I think it would definitely be solid. I mean, you can double trade in. That's fine. The 2-2 two -two goes here to kill it off to make room to play uh, Drathir. 
Actually, wait, how much damage is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. No, it's not enough. We're gonna go boom. I don't really think they have that many ways of gaining armor. I don't think I really care about that 3, 5. They take six more damage. Uh, we still have quite a big board. We have this to pump up a minion next turn. I don't care about this. Like, Warrior has no real big armor gain. Like, they can gain armor, but it would be like hero power, so they gain four armor instead of two. But if they're spending two mana to armor up, they lose anyway. Boom, boom, uh, end turn and just kill him with that. Yeah, the Menagerie Warrior just had a really bad opening hand. Uh, I like this. We don't want Crescendo, that's for sure. But I think going Boom, Coin, Boom, and then this on two feels really, really good. Especially if we can find, like, a three- Oh, uh, no, it's not great. It could be really good, but it's not great right now. Oh, it's another Blood Death Knight, of course. It's the perfect counter. I feel like they always just seem to have the perfect counter. We're gonna go boom, boom. Then we're gonna go with this to try to pump up as much as possible. Maybe the early aggression will be enough. It's just, ugh, I hate going against bad matchups. It makes the deck look worse than it is, but going against a ton of decks with like good direct damage and going against decks that have really good removal, it sucks. I didn't mean to accidentally open League, my bad. Do I wanna play Vile Library instead? I think I do wanna play Vile Library instead. Now hear me out, we're gonna play Fiendish Circle turn three, pump this up because this is a big, big card and we wanna hit him in the face. And then we'll play um, Impending Catastrophe because I don't think they have removal afterwards. So our board is completely full here. Maybe, just maybe we pump up um, the Taunt minion instead, but I think pumping this up is just better. I guess they can go Obliterate or like Asphyxiate, which I guess means maybe the Taunt is better. You know what? I'm gonna say the Taunt is better. I wanna spread the stats around a little bit. I wanna spread the stats around a little bit so it's a little harder to kill everything. We can go Impending Catastrophe and then the Baritone Imp next turn if necessary. Okay. They draw an extra card. That's fine. Dirty Rat. You can't pull anything out. My hand is full. Or my, my board, sorry, is full. A little weird champ, but okay. Let's draw five cards for two mana. Imagine doing something more balanced. I couldn't. Crescendo for one damage feels not that impressive. Let's go, um... Do I care more about this or this? I think I care more about my taunt minion, actually, because this damage can go away at any point. We'll play this. Hopefully it becomes a little bit bigger. Keep pushing damage. Corpse Explosion sucks for me. Blood Boil sucks a lot for me. Because who runs Deathwing? Am I right? Vampiric Blood? Okay, that's pretty nice for me. That's pretty good. Nerubian Vizier. No Undead minions died the turn. So I get to pump up another minion, maybe play another Imp to push even more damage. Let's split up the wealth a little bit more, put it on maybe a 1-1. One, one. I want to keep my imps alive because I think imps have more like synergy with stuff as the game goes on. And then with the extra mana I have left, I will play an imp gang boss. I think to play around blood boil, maybe I could try to play minions with more HP. No, I'm going to go full face. Oh. We were so close, but we couldn't quite get there, dude. They're going to play blood boil right now. But I think spreading it out plays against more things, because like now if they have Corpse Explosion, right? One, two, three, four minions live, so it plays around just more things. But maybe, maybe I, um... Maybe I, uh... I don't know. I tried to play around more things than like one really bad thing. Maybe that's not right though. So we have the coin. I like Via Library, but we don't really have imps at this point. We're definitely getting rid of both crescendos. They're terrible. They're awful. I think Via Library I can actually pass on because I want to try to find playable minions to snowball the board as quickly as possible. This is pretty decent, I would say, actually. We can coin this out turn four if necessary. We get Via Library anyway. I'll go, um. I'll go Voidwalker. I mean, I guess I could have gone this, but it doesn't really matter too much. 
Are they gonna have it? They play Astellar just to get some tempo on the board. Respectable, respectable. Crescendo? Crescendo hit. Now you might be wondering, why do that? The answer is because when I coin out this, now I get an extra imp. When I coin this out, I get an extra imp now, and I got to kill Astellar anyway, which is pretty nice. I don't know if that was 100% the correct play, but I was hoping for an imp or another one drop that I could play, of which I have one, I have eight more in the deck. It's just unfortunate we didn't get it, but it happens to the best of us, you know? We get Crescendo. Um, we're actually gonna probably save that Crescendo for direct damage later on. Let's just get a couple of extra imps here. This is the buff really coming in clutch. Now we're able to actually get a pretty decent board turn three. Like, it's not incredible or anything. But if they're able to kill off a couple of minions, then I can play Mischievous Imp, get some more minions, and, and go from there. Nourish, fair enough. We can go Void Virtuoso and Via Library, and maybe another one drop if we can get lucky. The Plating, fair enough. Jojo's 100% candidate for nerfs. You really think so? I don't think so. I don't think that it's a candidate for nerfs. I think I just play double Via Library here. We'll pump up the two imps because why the heck not? It's some pretty decent pressure on board. Wait, why do you think it's a candidate for nerfs? I don't think it's very strong. Like, it has some nuts combos, and I think Anubricon is just a toxic card in general. And if they nerf it, it would be a nerf for, like, the future. But I don't think it's overly strong right now. But I could definitely see it being more of a, like, cautionary nerf. Like, okay. Okay, we could see this being a limiting, like, design card going forward, so we'll nerf it because of that. Okay. Right now, we're doing pretty well for ourselves. I mean, if I want to play the Mischievous Imp, I can. Don't know if I'm going to. Imp Gang boss plus Crescendo to kill off these two minions seems a little bit better. The problem with playing Crescendo... Nah, there really is no problem. We'll just go this into Crescendo and wipe the board and go face with these. They have eight mana. They could play a Nubricon, but we really just need to get rid of all the armor that we can. And that's assuming they have a Nubricon plus other things. I like your hair today, Ecor. It looks nice. Are you joking? I literally just pulled it back with my uh, with my headset because my hair is super long on top, and I'm too lazy to put gel in it most of the time. I will admit, if I do put gel in my hair and I actually like try to do something with it, it can look kind of nice, but. Not the case with, uh, with what I have right now. <laughs> right now, it's just, it's just a mess. Look at that. Look at that. It just goes straight up. So I'm just gonna... Do we have lethal here? If I play Mischievous Imp, I can pump and it's lethal. So it's Mischievous Imp, then it's pump up one, it dies, we play Flame Imp. We pump this up, and they are 100% uh, dead. Love to see it. This is what happens when this deck, like, hits, though. It's so strong if it gets the good tempo going. We have one drop, we have a two drop. We don't need Impending Catastrophe. I think Impending Catastrophe is quite good, but without having a ton of extra, like, supporting imps, I feel like it's a dead draw. I'd rather get rid of- it. Oh, we get the Crazed Conductor. Oh my goodness, okay. And we get an impending catastrophe anyway. This is really, really good. This turn two, maybe something else turn three, if we can find like a fiendish circle or an imp gang boss, even a vile library is fine. Um, and then we play the crazed conductor and we'll get a pretty decent board. I'll kill that off. I don't like trading. Maybe I don't trade. Yeah, maybe I don't trade. Maybe I just go face and force them to trade into me. What am I doing? Did I have lethal in that last game exactly? I don't think I did. I think it was close. Wait, hold on. I'm gonna look at it back. I don't think that I did. They went to two. I could have gone trade, trade. Wait, how did I do my math wrong? I thought that I counted... What? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I counted wrong. That's my bad. Oh, weird. Very weird. Very interesting play. We're gonna go fiendish circle actually. To just flood the board and push face as much damage as possible. Um, I'll kill off the 2-3, so that way it's harder for them to kill off the 6-3 here, because I, I I would rather have this live than not live. And now I'm I'm debating whether or not I want to go Impending Catastrophe or Crazed Conductor. Oh, you're going to go Rake. 
I think Crazed Conductor puts more pressure on the board here. For four mana, it's essentially another Crazed Conductor. I'm gonna play the one I top decked for tilt purposes. And then if they wipe my board again, I have another thing. We're probably gonna go Impending Catastrophe next turn and hope for a uh, Vile Library to push as much damage as possible. That was super sick. But you're right, I actually did have lethal there. I miscounted. I miscounted by one. I thought I was off by one, so I just traded weird. That's my bad. Okay, we'll go Impending Catastrophe this turn instead of next turn. Let's see what we get. Do we get a Via Library? We do get a Via Library. And we also get Imp King or Farm, which is fantastic. Boop. And then I guess we'll pump up a 1-1 one, one Imp just because it's a little bit harder to kill. Nah, we'll pump up a 3-3. Three, three. It's hard for them to do single target damage. And we'll just go full face here. Is this just lethal? Nah, we're off by a little bit, but that's okay. If we can find Crescendo or something, we should win. They have 5 mana. They didn't even play Nourish or anything, so... Game is just over. Like I said, when this deck hits, it hits hard. But when it misses, it kind of misses hard as well. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't. Yeah. I counted wrong, but it's okay. They're able to kill off a couple of minions and gain a little bit of armor, but it's definitely not enough. Like, we still have 11 damage here minimum. Yeah, they're just dead. This is why this deck destroys Druid, though. They don't have time to ramp up.